Yo, yo, what up, what up? Yo, what up, what up? Welcome everybody, welcome everybody, what up dude? Wednesday night, what's up Wednesday? Yo, what it do, what it do, what's up Wednesdays? My yes, first time indeed. on What's Up Wednesdays. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I'll All right. To rush. Let's uh, let's get a, let's make sure we good in the room right quick before we get started. Y'all know I like to always do a quick little uh mic check. Mic check. Mic check. One two one two. Yeah. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All right. Uh, let's see here. Is everybody good? Can everybody hear? What's the deal? Let's see here. Alright. Doing some testing real quick. What's good? What's good? Type in the room if you guys can hear. Make sure everything is clear. Boom, boom, boom. They are the sleeping dragon. Sound is good. Sweet. Think, oh, hold on. Actually, let me see here. What's up, Kev? Kev is in the building. All right, let's see here. I can hear. Hold on, let me let me move this. All right, there we go. Let me move this over here. Feed is a one. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna bring the mic down a little bit. So if y'all see the mic in the if y'all see the mic in the um in the video, then don't trip. But anyway, yo, what's good? Let's see how many we got on. Who's representing tonight? We got about 20 people on already. That's what's up. We got 20 people on tonight. So, um, yo, I want to welcome you guys out to What's Up Wednesdays today. Um, I've been getting a lot of feedback. Um, a lot of people wanted to talk about some beginning things, you know, like uh, basically like how it is, you know, kind of like, you know, living as a professional photographer and like um, having, you know, makeup artist model, like living in the same house and trying to compromise and different things like that so uh what's going on peace 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 what's going on and get it out now get it out now so we can talk yes indeed hey. tamika's in the building as you guys probably seen from our um latest uh photo shoot on um on youtube we did the 50s. I put 80s, and people's like, uh, bro, that's yeah, like, I was like 50s. 80s. Yeah. That was actually, I meant to type I guess I didn't 80s. help proofread that. <laughs> yeah, you should have actually, because I straight said 80s. But anyway, um, from our 50s show um, that we did in um, Johnny Rockets. Um, also, Johnny Rockets, if you're watching this, hit us up, you know, because I know you guys want that video and them shoots to put up. So that's my little plug. But, um, yeah, and um, we got another video coming out in, I'm going to say, like, two days. I'm going to drop another video in, like, about two days from our photo shoot. Uh, we did another shoot last week. Um, you guys have been seeing some of those shots also from the um, using the new Tamron 17-28 to 28 2.8 lens. That lens is absolutely amazing. Um, Tamika did an amazing job in that photo shoot. So I'm going to drop another video in the next two days. See, um, this so, is this is why we're here today. Yeah. Do you see this um, schedule that was given? <laughs> this schedule. <laughs> um, yeah, another shoot is posting in three point eight seconds. It's, 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 Ten it's, minutes it's, later. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. So. Um, it's crazy. So basically, uh, what we wanted to do is we want to come on and talk to you guys about um, you know some challenges, some compromises, and things like that. Kind of tell you. Um, about kind of like how we do what we do um, that may be able to, you know, like help other couples and um, things like that. So, um, you know, um, you know, me being a photographer, you know, it's a lot of times, you know, it's going to it's a lot of times it's like late nights, um, light editing, um, video editing and different things like that. So, you know, sometimes it kind of like takes a toll, you know, but um, you kind of have, you got to compromise. That's what this is about today. It's about compromising. Um, and I tell you like personally, like in past relationships, you know, it's been really, it's, it's a real hard struggle when you have people that don't, um, what's the word? 
not appreciate, but really don't admire what you do as a photographer. It's you guys are constantly at you know bumping heads. You guys are constantly at each other's throat because they can't appreciate the art um, behind what we do as photographers. Um, I've been through it myself where I would go out and do a photo shoot and, you know, women will just be like, oh, you, you out with other women or you out doing this or you out doing something. I'm just like, I'm just doing a photo shoot. Like, bro, like it got so bad where I would show, um, people in the past. Like I would be like, look, here's who I'm shooting. This is where we're going. This is how long we're going to be there. You know, I mean, it got that bad, you know, and um, it's, 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 it's not healthy. You know, I mean, I was to a point where I just wanted to give up photography and be like, you know what, if this is what it's going to take, you know, to do photography, I don't, I don't want a part of it. Um, so that's why this is about finding some type of common ground, because I'm telling you right now, it's really hard if you're not with somebody who can see the passion, see the drive and see what it is about you know what makes you happy um if they're not being appreciative if they don't take that for something for what it's worth then it's going to be really hard for you guys you guys are going to always be at each other's throat they're also gonna, there's always going to be some type of trust issue there's always going to be some type of um is 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 basically like it's really is basically like trust issues and like you won't be able to go out you want me to do everything and then when you're out um you know it just creates so many problems so my biggest thing to my photographers out there is you you know you gotta you gotta understand who you're with if you can't have those conversations with somebody you know and tell them like look you know this is my dream this is my passion this is what i want to do uh this is what i want to be great at you know if they can't see that then you got a problem on your hands, you know? So, and that's why I got Tamika here. So Tamika can kind of tell you like from a woman's standpoint of view, um, you know, what it is, you know, as far, especially like being with a professional photographer, what it is that I, you know, she thinks that I, you know, about what I can do, you know, what she cares about, you know, how she deals with it. Um, with, you know, being with a professional photographer and maybe some of your, you know, wives or, you know, or girlfriends or something like that can kind of like, um, take what she, um, you know, see how she deals with it. You know, it's all, it's not always peaches and cream. That's for sure. So, but babe, it's, it's well, um, to start off, hi guys. Um, you want to say something? No, no, go ahead. Do oh. your thing. Um, my perspective is not just speaking from a woman's. Um, point of view, but it's speaking from an artist as well. Um, I have multiple, multiple gifts and I am an artist and has had um, some of the same lifestyle as photographers go through. Um, so just know you are not alone. <laughs> I am here with you. Like, like seriously though, um, that's not the only craft that sacrifices time, energy, effort because they have passions because it's all a part of the arts. So yeah. that's my one point of view. We are, um, we are artists. We are artists. Photographers are artists. That's what we do. So. Yeah. Like you make clear of your vision um, and that is in every part of art, no matter what aspect. Right. Um, and so in that... You are not just still providing for your family, um, wanting to still utilize your passion, although children, life, jobs, nine to fives, 401ks are involved. You still have to have that outlet of expressing what you are passionate about. If your job is not that, unfortunately, you'll be miserable like 95% of the world. Yeah. But they just go to work to pay bills and say this was life. So utilizing these gifts is really great to be with someone who is an artist. Mm -hmm. Artists do well with artists they quit, yep. because True. they they understand that, okay, this is something that feeds you and gives you life on top of your responsibilities. So there's a season to me. It's never sacrificing. It's never compromising. That that word has so much negative um, annotation to it. So yeah. I look at it as it's a season and a time to prioritize certain things. 
and everything just has to have a balance and eventually it's it's never going to be balanced <laughs> it never really is because both of you still um are pursuing your passions on top of having life so um yeah, that's my sure. that's my opening um statement yeah, and uh, somebody said, um, let me see, Micah said, I just tell my wife she can come if she wants to, but most of the time. You know what? That works too. You know, one of the biggest things about, um, you know, one of the biggest things to actually help you guys, if you guys, and I know there's people out there who struggles with this daily. It's yeah. a constant battle, you know, when you want to go out and do something. And unfortunately, there is only a rarity of women out there who actually understand. And like Tamika just said, since we are actually both artists, and I'll get to that in just a second. But one of the things like Mikey was saying is that it's really important. I used to I used to actually tell, you know, people in the past, like, yo, come out there with me. I've never told anybody that they can't go. You know, I would never cause that that just build that just creates another insecurity. issue. In it. yeah. It's just another that, insecurity. That that creates another insecurity instead of like, why don't why don't he want me to go now? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You don't want that. I've I I don't have anything to hide. Um, you know, so I was, I was always like, Hey, you know, you can come with me, you know, including them in your passion is also another good thing also. Cause that kind of like that, that makes them feel like they have a, a role in what you do. They it's, it's important to, it's, it's just as important to them as it is to you. So, you know, one of the things you guys can utilize is include them, have them set up, you know, appointments, have them set up meetings, have them, you know, take the money and do the schedule and you know, there's a lot of things that you can do, uh, a lot of things that you can do. Um, so the first thing is, you know, definitely including them in what you do will, they will be more ex accepting um, to what you do as a photographer. Um, another thing about it is the type of shoots. Somebody, I know somebody said this, so I'm going to get to it now. So somebody said, what about the type of shoots? Like there are some people who is not, why do women feel like, a photographer, a man wants to shoot uh, like somebody who is not fully new, but we can get to new. But what what is it? Why do women have an issue with shooting somebody who is either, you know, half clothed or fully nude or something like that? They know that that's their, you know, their thing about photography. Why, what What is it they can do to do that type of photography? Because a lot of people want to do that type of photography, but it's not about looking at another woman it's about creating that art because well, a for woman's one, body is for one the only people who seriously have a problem there's there's many there's an a b and c about this conversation but where where what lane are you in for one are you that type of photographer like i am a very expressive um kind of against the grain type of model and mm -hmm. so editorial shoots and commercial and commercial are mm -hmm. things that do great for me not the lingerie sitting cute and know your lane like if that's what you do then that's what you do i'm just saying no judgment <laughs> <laughs> it's no judgment it's you like need to know what your lane is and what you do best and if you <laughs> are that type of photographer and you don't do weddings mm -hmm. you know what i mean like let's be serious, then you just want to know your craft and be comfortable in it. Now, again, that goes to insecurity on the woman's side. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am not insecure about anything, like yeah. anything. So that is rare, I've heard. It is. So, and that's, and that's what somebody was saying. They said, you know, a lot of a lot of people won't shoot news or want to shoot news or used to shoot news before they got with somebody. Mm -hmm. Then when you get with somebody, you can't do that type of shooting anymore because out of the out of respect. But again, um, what do you consider disrespect? Like, so if this is your craft, just like my craft, mm -hmm. okay, I I used to dance. We've had pieces that were almost nude. Mm -hmm. And they were modern pieces. You know what I mean? Like, or um, I was in atmospheres that were Budweiser events mm -hmm. that are all hefty football playing men. Like, so let's speak to insecurities. Yeah. So now would you have a problem with me being in those atmospheres as a man? Yeah. Why? 
Same thing for women. Why are you insecure about me doing the shoot when you know where I stand? Only thing that comes up is trust. That comes up, if you have cheated on her before with a model, which nine times out of 10 does happen, unfortunately, that's the industry. Let's break barriers and change that and love it for the art of what it yeah. is and make it money. So. Yep. It's, it's enough money out here for everybody to eat. So, But, you know, relationships, photography, and modeling, man, it's... It's it's a it's a very tricky situation unless you guys communicate and talk about your um, you know your your this basically your goals you know your end goals what you want what you don't want um, but communication is the most important thing in photography and modeling that's hands down like even to today you know I I still tell them you know hey I, I got a shoot to do. Um, she might ask me who I'm shooting, or she might ask me, you know, what, what kind of shoot we're doing, where we're shooting. And, and I'll tell her. She doesn't have a problem because she understands my passion. But if she asks questions, you know, about it, I I have a responsibility to her to, you know, to tell her whatever she needs to know. Mm -hmm. She's always more than welcome to come. Now, I haven't did, like, full new shoots, you know, since we've been But together. let's really be honest. But if Do you really want to go, if he has a professional nude shoot, paid shoot, you know, you know the time limit, you know everything. Mm -hmm. Do you really, you would not have a random woman in a shoot that this woman who's naked needs to be as comfortable as possible to right. achieve the end goal, yeah. which is to get gorgeous pictures right. and not a naked woman, but gorgeous pictures. Right. So let's really be honest. I'm not asking you, no, you can come. No, you can't come. Why <laughs> would you want to be there to make her uncomfortable? For one, your insecurity is making you want to be there. Yeah. So therefore, that energy is going to be brought into the photo shoot. I already got enough. I don't. I ain't shot the girl naked before. So I already got some things I have to get through to get great pictures. Right. Like So appreciating the other person's craft and art and modeling, photography, even a makeup artist, you have to adapt to the atmospheres but change them so you can get your job done. That's it. Yeah. If you're doing this professionally. Yeah. If you're doing it professionally, that's definitely, um, and that's and that's a good point. You know, some people might want to come because you know of some type of. They might not say, you know, it's a type of insecurity issue, but, but it, that deep down inside, unless you know, they really want to help unless, out. Yeah. Like, unless they really want to help. You know, unless you need them to help. Unless you need that second hand. Or if they um, like, if they or they enjoy the art. Right. If like, they enjoy I the enjoy art. photography. Right. I love the back scenes and, and what goes on in a photo shoot. I love that. So I like to be around, even if I'm not doing yeah. anything. Um, but then I end up being utilized. Yeah. For some For reason. something else. <laughs> I know. Mm, many so gifts. That's crazy. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to get to that. So Tamika is, her. well, her first love, of course, is makeup artist. She's one of the baddest makeup artists. I got to see her from her pictures. Um, she does her own makeup. She does her own hair. She does her own pretty much everything she's she's pretty much a chameleon and that's a crazy thing about being with somebody like her because she kind of is a jack of all trades so if i want a certain type of shoe or if i'm looking at something she can look at a picture and basically transform into that type of scene um just like we just did the you know just did the other shoe you know i'm like yo this this pinup is gonna be like perfect natural light no anything we looked at a few pictures and she basically like transformed. Now, here's one thing about modeling. I'm kind of going off talking topic right now since we're talking about this. Modeling um, is you have to be models are actors. That's one thing that you guys have to understand. There was a lot of comments on our video yesterday about Tamika, her poses and her facial expressions. Now, as you guys know, I am very, very meticulous when it comes to posing and facial expression. I tell you guys all the time, there is two things in photography or in your pictures that will make your picture. It's not about really the lighting is great, but there's two things that I pride myself on day in and day out. That's posing and that's facial expressions. Without a good pose and without a good facial expression, without a, a, a model who has good character, good charisma, you won't get a good shot. You know, I've seen so many pictures on YouTube and Instagram where they have these, you know, gorgeous, crazy looking models, but their face is dead. They're not giving you anything. And I've told 
models and you know in pretty much all my shoes, I'm like you're not giving me anything you're not giving me nothing the, your face is just blank it's dead I I am really big on expression harsh. yeah I, I have you have you to be harsh yeah. you have to be harsh because a lot of these people just get these like social media models and Instagram mm -hmm. models or not even models they're just people to take pictures my definition of a model really is somebody who is really trying to break into the industry, honestly, who it has who has put together portfolios, who are out actually going on go sees, trying to, you know, get with designers, actually trying to break into the industry. They are actually doing the work. They are actually paying hundreds and thousands of dollars for the top quality pictures to put together that top quality, um, you know, portfolio to show to those people to get those to get those jobs, to break into the industry. Most of the people that these people shoot are just like Instagram models or Inst or just people who want pictures for social media. They're not using it for anything. They're just taking pictures. So the thing about it is, you know, to to have somebody like like that that has those many kind of qualities, we can sit at night, like we sat at night several times and went through pretty much all Tamika pictures. We talked about poses. We talked about facial expressions we talked about everything so for her to be able to sit with me day in and day out and you know we learn from each other and we feed off of each other's energy like there's nothing that we can't do because i already have the 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 goal and the actual vision she just carries it out and she can just transform she's like a freaking preach she's like a chameleon you know and that's like having somebody on your team like that is just like just important but again, you know, you do have those type of shortcomings um, with with anything that we do. So I guess like the video says, you guys got to still find that. We still have to find that common ground um, to what we like and what we don't like. Because sometimes there's a lot of things she don't like. And I'll be like, yo, like, why don't you like that? She's just like, I don't I don't like it. Uh, there was a lot of pictures from the shoot that we just did that she really, really liked that you guys haven't actually even seen. I didn't like them. I, I didn't like them. There was either something about the, the it was something about the ambient, the pose, the background, the expression. It was something. Everything has to coincide with each other. And he's shoot. like that. I enjoy some unorthodox, slightly uh, yeah. off, um, lighting slightly off. You know what I mean? I enjoy and appreciate the art of those pics. So to the to the photographers that don't get the most popular vote, those are the photographers I love to see because it's your point of view, it's your vision. And at the end of the day, if it's executed at excellence, no matter what it is, I appreciate that art. And he sometimes is a little too picky when it comes to certain aspects. And I'm like, that is an editorial shot that is amazing. Yeah, it's dark, but it gives off a vibe. vibe yeah. And that is what I'm getting from the picture. That's why it's posted. That's why it's printed. Like, yeah. let's be honest. That's and true. so that's my point of view. This is his breakdown yeah. point of view. But I appreciate it all. Yep. Hey, uh, hey, we got super chat, Kevin. Hey, appreciate that, man. Appreciate what you guys oh, are doing. Oh, you're God great. Bless, bless appreciate you. Appreciate the super chat. Um, yeah, big shout out to Kev for that. But um, yeah, definitely, guys. Um, like I said, it's it's it has it has a lot. It's there's a lot that goes into this. But like I said, living with somebody, it's it's amazing because we I can go out, I can bring you guys content, we can talk, we can come up with things, and um, it's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Um, you guys can ask questions, but there's another thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe. But I was telling you about um, so. Something that you guys don't know about me and Tamika. So we are both from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. uh, we are both from the same city. Uh, we actually both graduated from the same school. High school. Um, from the same high school. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I had a crush on her like twenty, like over 20 years ago when we was in high school. She says she I didn't. I did she not says she don't remember that. it. But uh, yeah, I, I, she was, I was, I was in love. I That's was, what a crush usually is, is yeah. from a distance. How would I but, know? But you did know. I keep telling How you that you did. How did I know? Whatever, man. Anyway. Okay. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> anyway. But um, yeah, it over twenty years ago, man. And then um, you know, we kinda like recently kinda like rekindled and you know, kinda like grew up if you if pretty much grew up and start over. And it's like and it's just amazing. And like I said, one of those uh, one of those 
things that makes it amazing is just art artists. We're both artists. Now, here's the thing that you guys don't know. We were both dancers also. And it, we're not at the dope, same period. At the time. same same period of time. We he were, was one of them. Girl, but hold on, but we were still but we was but, number one. So I'm not worried about that. Don't <laughs> Oh Lord! Oh, yeah. Bro, you see? Okay, can you stop now? Anyway, and I did a little bit of everything. Yes. Yeah, and we were actually both. The funny thing is, check this out. Yeah. We were both actually in the same African dance class, but she kind of don't know why she company, don't remember. But it was his yes, class. At it the was time. my class at the time. And she did it. She did it a lot more than me. So yes, she is also a dancer. Also, she also was dancing for the. 76ers, right? I've danced for a lot of people. She was out. She was well, yeah. She was she was a dancer for the um the Philadelphia 76ers also when she moved to Philly. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. But again, I say all that to say this: when you have a model who is an actor who is uh they they're not afraid to be different. That's the problem with a lot of models that you guys use and a lot of models that I see. They're scared to come out of that shell. You know, they don't they don't know how to invoke that character. They don't know how to step out and be somebody else. Um, and that's one of the things. That's why you got. So, that's why we got or so many comments. Or be themselves. Yeah, or be or basically be themselves. Because yeah. a lot of people are new. A lot of people are building their portfolios or mm -hmm. upgrading. And like myself, I haven't modeled in twelve years. Pop lock and drop it. Yo, you stupid. Anyway. Um, really so, not. yeah. So, he brought me out of retirement. Like, I told a few of you guys. <laughs> um, he couldn't keep you in retirement. You're too, you too, you too sexy to be in retirement. What's wrong with you? Anyway. So, but yeah. It's, it's crazy. But she's an, she's an actor. That's her. So, with her having the background that she has... That's what makes a lot of our photo shoots so much easier. Um, and it's not, I still direct. I still, you know, I still tell her exactly what I want. I still go through poses. I still go through everything because even if a model, even any model, they can't see what you see. You're, the, a model is a canvas. They are only a canvas. You basically have to pull everything out of them. I have to tell her what kind of expression I want her to do. What kind of pose? I still have to give her some type of examples because I'm looking at everything when I take the picture. Um, but the thing about Tamika is she can take the idea and she can rock the hell out of it. And that's what makes the shots so dope because not only is she acting, she can, she's, a, she's, an, she's an actual real freaking actor. She has an acting background. So that's what makes those shots so dope. And you guys are going to see that in the next photo shoot that comes out in a few days also. She really takes this acting thing um, to the next photo shoot because we shot uh, Urban. She looked like salt and pepper. That's I look like a mix of... She looked like, you look like um, salt and pepper. Of Juicy 90s. Hernandez and... Yeah, you, look, you look like that 90s And so type salt and pepper. Yeah, she was like that nice. I was type. definitely um, Chula Phil, but gold chains. If I had my gold you did grill, have gold chains. I know. If I had my gold grill, it I'd be it'd take it to another level. But level. yeah, you'll see the, the shoot that we got coming up it in a few fun. days um, that I'm going to post halfway done with it. Uh, we took we basically took it really urban. And she, I said, hey, I want to do an urban shoot. She had the perfect urban type outfit. And um, it, she put the chains on, and it was it was fire. I can't wait for you guys to see this shoot. It was it was sick. It was really dope. So, um, but yeah, let me go to the comments and things. See what you guys got for us. Uh, let's see here. Pop, he said, "Pop lock and drop it, bro." What? How's the new Sony? Uh, the new A7R4, man. Listen, that camera is impeccable. I'm sorry to say. If you guys don't have the new A7R4, if you think you don't need it and all these other comments that I keep seeing, look, 61 megapixels, This the resolution in this camera, the feel, the grip, everything. The grip. A lot of people are saying the size yeah, of the, the grip size of the grip. just more handy. It's bigger than the other. It's bigger than any other Sony mirrorless camera out. Mm. But 
it feels you get the feel and everything the buttons feel much better the joystick feels much better um but the resolution is just absolutely incredible and the shoot that we did at the um just recently at johnny rockets i shot that uncompressed so you're talking about about like 117 megabyte files per uh per uh, per picture but the type, the but the amount of detail that I that I saw in Lightroom and Photoshop, man, listen, it was it was absolutely in, it was absolutely insane. And when I actually shunk the res, when I actually shunk the pictures down for like uh, for Instagram and stuff, I mean, you don't even have to sharpen the pictures. Like I was, I sharpened one and it was over sharp, and I didn't never even sharp. Once I once I shrunk it down, like the file was incredible. I'm like. Like it is a joy to shoot with that camera, so I can't wait to do more, you know, big contracts and you know, blowing up pictures and things like that. So it's it's one really going to make me go out there and get really a lot more contracts and things like that. So definitely, it's it's the best thing. It's the biggest full frame camera right now. But tax time, Christmas tax time, gifts. Exactly. Uh, but you heard Canon just is about to come out with a new One DX Mark III. If you guys haven't heard. I haven't saw any details. I don't know the megapixels. I don't know anything. I just know that they're coming with the 1DX Mark III. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, what up, peoples? Uh, when posing it more, what looks good in your mind or how the model looks? Mm. No, well, hold on. When posing, when posing it, I don't understand really that. But let me see. When posing it, what looks good? What looks good in your mind or how to... Um, when, when, I pose them, when I pose somebody, I'm looking at... I already know how the model looks, first of all, bef before we even start to shoot. So the way I pose my models depends on the area that I shoot in and what they have on, if that makes sense. So if we're doing an urban shoot, I am not going to pose somebody in a urban type fashion as I would if somebody who was dressed with a long, beautiful, yeah. elegant dress or something like that. Mm -hmm. There are two different type of poses. There are two different type of facial expressions. Everything is different. Like I said, I'm very meticulous from head to toe, feet, hands, fingers, everything. Everything has to be on point when I shoot. Otherwise, I can't shoot with you, honestly. Um, and or or you if out. it's a paid shoot, well, for paid shoot, then I just then deal he's with it. going to deal with it. <laughs> That's right. Or I just have to deal. At with the it. end of the day. Talking to our models or speaking to potential models or even your conversation with a model, it's about giving them room to to, yeah. to find their niche. So yeah. when you see it, recognize it and communicate and say, yo, that's it. Yeah. When you do that, yeah. that is you. That yeah. is where you stand your best. You know what I mean? So it's really about communication and making making the model feel as comfortable as possible to find who they are. Because yeah. you might be their their second paid shoot. You know what I mean? And I'm not turning down. Yeah, I'm not turning down the money. A, a dollar yeah. for for me not wanting to help someone that, yeah, grow. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm not as judgmental, I guess, on that. He area. said, "Hit the dirty one, y'all yeah, silly." You two have chemistry. Appreciate it. Keep me posted on the Halloween shoot. Uh, okay. Uh, we, we're still... I'm not going to comment on that. We are it's still up in the air, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up, Ben? Tamika Lex Best 82 What's going on. So, basically, what you're saying is Tamika got an unfair advantage because she's so talented. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, it is, it is really an unfair advantage because she has a background. And she knows how to carry that background into a photo shoot. And of course, yeah, working with me every day is a big disadvantage for everybody else because now it's hard. I'm yeah, not gonna say it's hard to work with other hard. models because I know how to work. I mean, I work with people who've never modeled a day in their life, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, shooting her is just much easier and creative. That's all it is. Uh, this is much better than Tony and Chelsea for. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. What up, bro? Size matters. <laughs> okay. I can't afford the A7R4, let alone upgrade to a computer to handle the megapixels. That's fine. Go with the A7R3. A7R3 is still great. Can it shoot? All right. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. Yep. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that camera's going to cost more than 3500 after all the upgrades you got to do. Pretty much. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah. Menu system on the Sony. 
Uh, the crap irks the crap out of me. That's not that's not really the Sony menu system. I see that a lot. The Sony menu system is not a hard system. The problem, see, the thing is, as photographers, if you buy a Sony camera, you're going to do the same thing we all do. You're, it's going to be a new piece of gear. You're going to feel like a kid in the candy store. You're going to stay up all night with it, going through buttons, go through the menu system. Yeah. But you, here's the thing that I, this is the thing I don't understand about people. On every camera that you shoot with, there's three things that don't change. The ISO, the aperture, and the shutter speed. That's the only thing that you really have to care about when you sh when you get a new camera. Everything else is extra crap. Honestly, everything else in your yeah. menu system is extra crap. It's well, like your cell phone. Yeah. It's like it's, you're going to have the same normal things on every camera. Everything else is just extra. So, you know, knowing how to move your focusing points and things like that. You're going to learn that in the same night. That's the most important thing besides knowing where your f-stop and ISO and your aperture is. Other than that, it's the same freaking camera as any other camera, bro. So you can use any camera. It's the same camera. Everything else is just extra. So you can learn that. So not, I don't really care about with the system. Uh, let me see here. Awesome thing. Touchscreen would be nice too. Yep. It's, let me see. Computer upgrade. Bigger cars. I want to see your medium format and I want to see. So... I am working currently, just to let you guys know, I am working with lens rentals to get a medium format camera. There's some little logistic things that we have to work out, but I'm trying to get the uh, the 50C, the Hasselbad, or the Fuji to do a medium format versus, um, you know, 61 megapixel, A7R4 comparison. So I am working at... So just let you guys know, but um, hopefully that is going to come here soon. Uh, Canon's 81 megapixel. Uh, oh, yep, I don't know. Uh, these camera manufacturers think we buy new computers every time we up. <laughs> no, we just upgrade parts, pretty much. Uh, let me see here. I know. I, da, 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 da. Go, all right, check out this. Yeah, Z6, Z7. Uh, let me see, 1200 gig, gig SQD. SQD is great, man. That's a really fast memory card. Um, you creating great content. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Agree. Brandon is better than Tony Chelsea. He's down there. Talks a lot. Appreciate it, man. Uh, great perspective on cameras. Yeah, definitely. Do you think that this, as, as time goes on, phones will be able to compete with professional cameras? I of don't course. No. Of course. No. No. Of course. Shh. No. I don't, but it seems that. Okay. Uh, Listen. You be quiet. Listen. I'm giving my. Uh, a camera. On a cell a phone, camera. will never be able to compete with a professional this, grade. All you need is the software. You know the little chip that creates these cameras. They're going. They're they're being put in phones. But ding ding ding. It's more than just taking a picture, though. Of course, it's, it's more than just taking it's a knowing. But that it, does not it, mean the quality and the style. It does. It, it doesn't is. because I've seen amazing quality shots done on a professional camera, as I've seen on a phone camera. Me, okay, now my, let me my turn to talk. A camera phone will never be never as good as a professional camera okay you won't have the megapixels you won't okay. have the resolution on top of that you can't use flash off camera flash setting up flash and doing the things that we do you well, cannot that get that wasn't the question yes it is they it, that for that that's just a sub, for, something for else. that specific reason it won't be unless for you the reason unless you want to take unless you want to do you natural, always did natural light unless you want to do always not yeah that's no nobody does that anyway Unless you want to do natural life for the rest of your life and use your little flash on your camera or sound, some sound, people sound. No. definitely do anyway. So natural life. that will never that will never be the case. What you can't, you can't use that. I can take All big right. strobe lights outside and actually get some amazing type. On top of With that, you phone. won't be able to zoom in. You can't do a lot of stuff that we do. No, it won't work. Anyway, never. So never ever. Okay. Uh, let me see here. What else? Let's see. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. Uh, what Sonia said, I think she is a kid. You see how nippy he is with me? No, babe, no. That's just, that's just tech talk. Okay. Uh, we'll appreciate if you tell us how you create a story while you shoot. Well, let's really talk about that. What? Because what, what happens a lot, um. Never be able to compare a pro level. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just answering the question. Oh, it says, what, what, would appreciate if you tell us. How you create a story while you shoot. Be this is what happens. 
it is all freestyle. It is all I capture what suits the time, the music, the energy, the model, and what I'm trying to achieve at the end of the day. And you run with it, literally. You catch the shot and you run with it. You give it a name and a sentence and then you run with it. If you don't have the vision and you can't recognize it when you see it, yeah. then you. why are you a photographer? Yeah, that's true. Here's, a, here's that's another thing, it. though, um, also. Um, so a lot of people ask me how I set up my shoots. Um, when I set up a shoot with a model, I, the first thing I find out is what is the, um, what they call it? Uh, I lost the train of thought, huh? Theme? Yeah, kind of, what's the theme? What, what do you want to shoot? What, what, what will you shoot? What won't you shoot? You know, all the details. Yeah. Um, but I, I want to have some type of theme to my shoot. You should, you should all have a type of theme. Unless you're just going out there and just taking pictures for something. I try to have some type of theme, something that goes with something. Um, and then from there, um, somebody else asked me, do you tell the models what to wear? Or how do you find out what the models are going to wear? The way I do it is I, I keep pictures on my phone of ideas that I think would be good for a shoot, depending on what they have, what kind of idea they have or, you know, what they want to shoot. So what I do is I send my models, uh, you know, about five or 10 pictures and be like, yo, I something think something like, like this. this. Yeah. You, do you have something like this in your closet? You know, you know, we set it up kind of like that. And then a lot of times they'll send me pictures of some clothes that they might have or something mm -hmm. like that. Or or if they had a word. A theme doesn't always have to be this drawn out motif. It can be literally a one word, a color, a phrase yeah. that leads your storyline. And yeah. but you have to run with that and keep yeah. it in every regard. Yeah, you gotta keep it you gotta keep on that subject. Um, and then, like I said, from there, once they tell me what they have, uh, huh? And then you usually do like a switch, like, okay, get, give me something totally opposite oh, yeah, yeah. of what I always you do that. just gave me. Yeah, I always do that. That's, that's So then you get double, sh very... double, double shots for your yeah. time. You, you know want I mean? something, you want something that, I, you want something up. that doesn't, um, that's different from what they just shot in. But that's basically how I set it up. We, we find the clothes, we find a theme. And then on top of that, I find the location. You want the location to kind of go with what you're trying to achieve, mm -hmm. uh, which is really big. Um, and I know a lot of people just go. I've that seen goes people into shoot. editorial shot, um, photographers too, though, because there's certain photographers that will think of everything because they need that for the shot. Yeah. So really think about and hone in on what type of photographer and what type of models you're trying to look for. Yeah. Um, so it can suit your your yeah. whole thing, and uh, that's that's important because that's that's actually a defin that's actually the definition. If you guys don't know, that's actually the definition of an editorial, editorial shoot, uh, editorial com uh, shooting, commercial shooting, couture. They're all different. They're all different styles. Editorial is about themes. When you submit magazine subscription, um, magazine um, submissions and things like that, an editorial goes with the theme of that magazine or the theme of that week or the theme of that month. Um, and that's what an editorial, that that, that's what an editorial is. Mm -hmm. um, they are looking for something that is specific to that theme for that month. Also, editorial posing and facial expressions is different from commercial. Mm -hmm. Commercial shooting is more um, energy, is more exciting. That's like your 17 magazine, kind of like what we just did um is is commercial slash editorial, editorial. Mm -hmm. but it's more it was actually more commercial honestly than anything because it was more the music the the poses that she was doing that's more of a commercial type shoot it can be used for editorial but that's more of a commercial shoot those are the big, biggest differences um so again the way you are um the your theme location all of that stuff is, you know, that's basically how I set a lot of my stuff up. So everything has to go together. Everything has to go together for me. If it don't go together, I just can't, I can't take somebody in an elegant dress and take them to like a school parking lot and shoot. You kind could of, if you were doing an editorial shoot and it, you have a vision. It, now that's all about having a vision because 
Uh, I am slightly, I have a slightly different opinion about that because I like to mix two opposites, like gown with leather jackets, like mm. that comes into styling, but in your atmosphere can be an opposite and still yeah. look like an amazing shot. All You just have to have a theme or a vision going into a shoot or when you see it, you recognize it mm -hmm. and then you run with your theme yeah. or um, you're lost. Somebody said, did you ever use a beauty dish while outdoor shooting? I mean, a real beauty dish. Uh, I did. Um, if you look at my YouTube channel, um, I did a... Oh, I was, I was supposed to say. The wind knocked it out. I did a, um, I did a shoot. Um, it was the 400 versus the 400 Clash of the Titans um, that I did with uh, one of my models. And we, I used a beauty dish, not the collapsible, actual like per, you know, the actual, what was it, Vol, Vol, Voltevic or something like that, a uh, beauty dish. Uh, we used a beauty dish for that one also. That wasn't the collapsible, that was the actual, you know, 22 inch beauty dish. Uh, so yes, you can go check out that video. Um, oh, camera flash. Yes, I do know about the wireless Bluetooth flash that Profoto has that you can use with your phone, but whatever. Uh, let me see. C1C. I saw. I show. What's it? I show brand everything. Okay, appreciate that. He does. Some, yep, 400 versus 400. Yep, that's right. What about the Pokemon? Let's see that. Any plans for a Halloween shoot this year? Um, I got a lot of plans, but uh, I got to get back with you guys on that. My wife thinks she would be better. She would get better photos on her phone than the. Okay, if she thinks that the iPhone 11 is gonna give her better pictures, then all right. Um, you can we can we can challenge that. Um, let's. It's a. See, it's an opinion. Get phone, it's phone, an opinion. Phone photos. It's up an opinion because I've posted a lot of my amazing selfies that are better than a lot of photographers have ever shot me. What? Uh, I thought. Okay, you said a lot of. Well, yeah, that's true because I've seen a lot of your past photographers and yeah. Yo, uh, it doesn't yo, matter. Yo phone, yo phone was killing him, but that just talks about me yeah, whatever. It, it's not just <laughs> who has the the shot in hand. Ah. It's also the tool. Uh, so my, uh, let me see. Fair, uh, Farah M., thanks for answering my question. And why do they say that 35 millimeter lens tells a story? So that's really good. And the 17 to 28 Tamron. I absolutely love that lens. That's the one we used yesterday. That's the one that you're going to see in the next two days from this photo shoot that we're about to bring you. But the 35 millimeter is a storyteller because for the specific reason, you get a decent distance from your model, but you also are able to see the background. The you're able to see the surroundings. You're able to you're able to see everything. And you know? capture it. Yeah, you're able to capture more in the frame. So it's telling a story. Yeah. So you can you not only just see the model or a head or like a three-quarter shot, you can see her, you can see a background. Um, that's why it is considered a storytelling uh, lens because of what it can capture, the amount that you can capture in the picture and in the frame so everybody can see it. You can go at... You can go to like a junkyard or something and your model can be dressed in like all silver or something sitting in a chair. But you can capture that whole junkyard in the background with the model. That's people are going to be like, that right is going to be an amazing shot. We need to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea, ain't it? All Maybe the we, steel and yeah, built of exactly. cars and all cars that in on the background. Top, cars on top of each other. Yeah. Or um, formal. You, okay, well, let's do it then. Okay. Junkyard shoot. Junkyard shoot. Uh oh, okay. Junkyard shoot. There it is. So it's just that easy. So that's why the 35 millimeter is a is the most amazing storytelling lens because of what it can capture. Uh let me see. Good question. I like questions. I like hard questions. I chose you first today and tell them about Okay, I agree. Let's see. D D D D. Bam. Uh get Harley Quinn back for Halloween. Tease is in California. So I don't think Tease is coming back anytime soon. Tease is the one we did the Harley Quinn shoot on. Oh, she did a good job too. Uh, let me see facts. I gotta get that lens. Yep, I'm ordering the Sam Young 3514. Um, I also have the Zeiss 3514 for sale. If anybody is interested in purchasing my Zeiss 3514, it is in immaculate condition, not a scratch. 
tick, nick, dust, or anything on it comes in the original box, hit me up in my DM or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and we can talk about it. But I also have my Zeiss for sale. Don't ask me why I'm selling it. Don't ask me what I'm about to get. That ain't none of your business. Just know that my stuff is in perfect, immaculate condition uh, and I am selling my 3514 also. Just to let you guys know. First come, first serve. Um, I can ship it out tomorrow also. In the morning. You'll get it in two days. Hey. Okay. Um, let me see. The Sam Young. Go hard. Sam Young's good. I love your photos at the 35 millimeter so much because photography isn't just about isolation, the subject, and the background. Very, very true. Uh, do you ever shoot Sigma? What? What about the Sigma 35? One, two? Every lens that I have almost is Sigma. <laughs> Everybody knows that I'm a big, big Sigma fan. So, yeah. Um, I have not shot with the 35 1.2. I do have a Sigma rep uh, that is supposed to email me back as soon as they get some test um, lenses in that they Sigma will be sending to me unless I get one first. Um, unless I get one first. But, uh, yeah, they are supposed to be sending me one out. And I'm, I'm really excited to test the 35 1.2 because Sigma art is just the top of the line. Best. I love them. Um, so yeah, how do you balance setting the white balance for off camera flash? It just really depends if I'm shooting outside on location, if I'm shooting somewhere, um, I'm normally on auto white balance. I normally don't change my white balance unless the sky turns absolute orange or if I'm shooting under some type of tungsten light that I have to adjust my white balance or if I'm shooting somewhere that's really like super bright LEDs, then I will adjust my white balance. Other than that, if it's nice ambient and nothing is conflicting, then I'll just leave it on auto. Uh, let's see here. I'm almost down to the bottom. Let's see here. Will you get the Tamron 70 to 170? Nope, I will not because I already have something in that focal length. Uh, let's see here. He already got the 7200. Correct the Mundo. Uh, please shoot with the 35. I shot with the 35. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Uh, quality impressive. Let's see. Any thoughts on Tamron lenses? Um, I the shoot the shoot that we just did at Johnny Rockets was shot with the Tamron 17 to 28. It is the best ultra wide angle lens that I have ever ever used. I've used 14 to 24. I've used um, the the Canon 11 to 24. I've used a lot of ultra wide angle lenses. I've used ultra wide primes also, like the Sigma 21.4. I used the 24.14 G Master. I've tested that. The 17 to 28 Tamron is absolutely incredible. R2 over 3? Absolutely incredible. Uh, I will take that lens everywhere with me from now on. It does not leave my side. Uh, let me see. Can I borrow the 135? You can have it because I don't have one. I only, the shoot that I did with Victoria with the 135, they sent me that to test it out. Sony sent it to me um, so I could do a shoot with it uh, for content, and I sent it back. So I'm not a big fan of that focal length. Um, I love Sigma. What up? I had to see the new Tamron. It's great. Savvy. Nope. Uh, the price guy. Let's see here. 8518. I'm a price guy. I want this. I would have went with the 8518 Sony over the 8514G Master also. However, the Sigma 8514, hell no. It is the best 85 on the planet. Love it. Um, R2 over R3. Uh, if you're buying them, it depends on what you're shooting. If you're just shooting in the studio, sure. The R2, I had the R2 for a very, very long time. It does wonders. It's great. 42 megapixel. Got everything that I needed. If you're going on location... No, I will definitely take the R3 because it's faster. Uh, we're almost down to the bottom. 84, let me see top. I love Sony, and I listen until the end. Bye-bye. <laughs> love the Tem. I have not used the Tamron 28 to 75. I heard it is an amazing lens. Um, I see a lot of people use it, um, but I don't know. I, I'm not a really big fan of the 28 to 75 or 24 to 70 focal length because I just have too many lenses in that focal range that's better and more sharp and wide open. I won't use the 28 to 75 zoom because I have the 35.14. I have the Sigma 50.14, and I also have the 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 Sony 70 to 200. So I don't have a need for the 28 to 75 unless I do events, 
unless I shoot weddings where I need to, I need that focal, um, so I can adjust that focal length. So other than that, I don't have a need for it, so I won't buy it. And this sounds all like gibberish to me, if you're wondering. <laughs> you good. I need layman terms. 85 will R. Okay. We're talking about this. Uh, let me see. Uh, Gen okay. 2 days trash. Okay. I'll just hit those. And... All right. Good to go. So that's all the questions. But anyway, um, I think that's pretty much uh, it, man. I mean. Did you cover everything you want to talk about? Yeah. Yeah. I think we covered everything. Like I said, we wanted to come on and just talk about, you know, Tamika's opinion on, um, you know, being with a photographer. And, um, you know, how I felt, you know, what my thoughts were for you guys about a lot of you guys wanting to make your wives or girlfriends models or be your own model or what you can do to get them started as a model, different things like that. So, um, some, like I said, my biggest thing is they have to have some type of passion for it. You know, they have to have, they have to have a, uh, they have to be curious at least. You know, to say to say the least, they have to want to try it. You can't force it down their throat. You know, you just can't. The best thing to do is just kind of leave that alone. But they have to have some type of passion and, you know, to want to be, you know, to want to model, to want to be a model or to just, honestly to just want to come out and help you if that's the, if that's what you want them to do. But it's a give and take because at the end of the day. If you have to show her that whatever her likeness is, that you support that just as much as you will want hers. Or she's not going to understand why you need hers because you're not giving it to, yeah. to her. You know what I mean? So that's that's from a woman's point of view. Yeah. Yeah, but if you guys, um, like I said, if you guys want your girls or your girlfriends or your, your, your wives and things to model for you, like I said, um, be patient. Like I said, they're not professionals. So... The first thing is patience. Just shoot. <laughs> yeah, just go out there and shoot. That's the first thing. And so. and communicate. Let them know this is what I'm expecting from this shoot. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I need from you. Or when you see opportunity, express it so that they're aware of what you see. So then they can um, replicate it. Yeah. You guys, um, you guys have to, like I said, be patient. That's the biggest thing. Um, no, and when you, as a photographer, when you go on location and when you go to the sh a shoot, know exactly what you're talking about. All right. Don't go out there and just run and be like, yo, put your hand on your hip. Uh, yeah. Bend over like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You don't, you don't want to sound like that. You need to be confident in what you want. You need to be confident in what you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. Because if you don't, you you're sound like, yeah, you have to have a vision. Um, and you got to know what you're talking about. That's pretty much it. You can't sound like some type of broken record. So if you go out there and you don't know what you're doing, it's going to make it that much harder. Or yeah. communicate. If you don't know what you're doing and you're waiting to find it, you're faking it till you make it. That is okay. Yeah. But just communicate. This is what's happening. I'm sorry. When I go to a new job or I'm training someone for a new job, yo, I am new. I've been here a week. It's going to ride out for about a month or two. Just so that the other person feels comfortable about mess ups or taking too long or not being sure. Yeah. Um, quick question. on. Uh, here's a question from um, Randy. He said, a uh, quick question on pricing. Do the models pay first or they pay after you send pictures? I'm having Percentage. trouble on this. So... I don't. I can't speak for other photographers out there. I really, really can't. So this is just me. My models, all my clients, they pay before the shoot. All right, that's how I roll. Um, they secure. They don't pay a deposit anything. They pay for their entire shoot before the shoot. That's just how I roll. Um, and the reason for that is, like in the past, um, I've dealt with people either canceling. I've dealt with people, um, you know like coming to something and only paying half and then not paying for the rest or, you know, or, Hey, I, I need a little bit more time. Do you mind if I wait a few more days and things like that? Um, there's always been some, I've had to learn my mistakes. I have to learn and grow just like any other photographer. Mm -hmm. So as my work, as I continue to be trained as a photographer, as I got better with editing as I got better with off camera flash, as I continued to grow as a photographer, my work started getting better and better and better. Um, you can set those type of goals. 
you know, it's, then that's the thing about it. When models come to you, they see your work. They do research just like we do. They see everything that you have. So in his when, business. Yeah, in his business. So when they come to me and they say, how much do you charge? Or, hey, I want to do a shoot with you. They know the quality that they're going to get when they come to me off top. You know what you're going to get when you shoot with me. You're going to get the best of the best. But I expect I have to my I need my money up front. That's just that's just the way I roll. Um, and then and uh, sometimes they might ask me why and things and I will, you know, respectfully explain to them if that's the case. Uh, but if they really want to shoot with me, they don't have no mm-hmm. trouble paying. Yeah. That's and it. for newer um, amateur models or photographers, makeup <laughs> artists are on the same um, field, sort of. Depends on your caliber, on your level of expertise. I usually ask for a percentage or my hourly rate up front to schedule the time, date, and shoot. And then on arrival, the the balance is um, needed to be paid. Yeah. And that's what I do. Yeah. Um, and so that you you just you're not missing out on time if they do cancel. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you move yeah. on from there and everyone feels comfortable. Yeah, so, I don't it just depends. Yeah, like I said, I my models pay me up front first. So um but like I said, I don't know your area, I don't know the type of people you you shoot, I don't know your work. Um a lot of you those things your experience. Yeah, yeah, I don't mm-hmm. your experience, all that stuff. All of that stuff plays a factor into it. So if you but like I said, if you um if that's what you echo, if that's your if that's what you mm-hmm. do um, and that's your that's how you roll. Then you just have to put that out. If people want to go elsewhere, they go elsewhere. But some a lot of times there's some things that you can bend on, and there's some things that you can't. You have to find out what that is for your business. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, iPad Pro or MacBook Pro. If they had Lightroom, once they get Lightroom on the iPad Pro, iPad is going to be freaking amazing. And f- to do editing and Photoshop and everything on the iPad Pro. So that's going to be dope. Um, you guys rock. Cute couple. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, from the, uh, I love them both use iPad Pro. So anybody use the V1? Um, I used the V1 before, but I do not own one. Um, I think the round head is great, um, but I can kind of get that same look with something that's cheaper. That thing is like $300 almost. It's 250 I don't understand. Can somebody please tell me in the comments right now? The V1 is $259. $259. Why not just get... A 8200 can somebody please explain that who the hell is paying 259 dollars for the v1 round head please somebody tell me that i have no idea unless unless you are doing event photography unless you are doing wedding receptions in low light and you need to use on camera flash why are you buying a v1 Somebody please tell me that. I will not buy a V1 because I don't need that speed light. It's a freaking speed light with a round head. It's a little bit more powerful, but what's the purpose? It's for for weddings and camera flash. Let me see. What's a better what's a better option for that if you want? Like I said, for if you are if you got it for a wet if you are doing weddings or events and you need on camera flash. It is cool. However, comma, here, hold on, hear me. But here's the thing though. It is $259. Now check it out. Why not just get like an 860 and put like a Gary Fong on it? Why not just do that? For that's how like, much? huh? That's like that's like a hundred and fifty dollars cheaper. Like I don't understand that. You can get a go you can get a Godox speed light for Sony or whatever your brand is and put a Gary Fong sphere on it and still get that beautiful light spread. I use that at a lot of receptions. That's what I use. I don't that's what I use when I do events and weddings. And you get a actually you get a bigger light spread. So why not just get a Gary Fong and get a speed light if you're going to do off camera flash? And you get a, not only that, you get a softer light. I don't understand it. Somebody, y'all gotta, y'all, what the hell? I use a V1 for wedding. It's great. I bet it is. It just looks cooler, okay? All right. That makes more sense. If you think it's cooler, then cool. I'll go buy that 860. Exactly. Get the 860. 
uh, for your for your camera and get a Gary Fong spear to spread the light and make it nice and soft. That's crazy. I don't understand why people. Waste I, of money. I don't. Yeah, I think it's a waste of money, and especially if you're using off camera flash. I hope you're not using the V1 for off camera flash because it's two hundred fifty nine dollars. You can get forty more dollars and get a eighty two hundred. Or get the cheaper option, get the A60 or the lithium battery. Even the lithium battery one is like $140. And get a Gary Fong Spear on it. And that you're going to save yourself $100. That's, that's crazy. You guys need to stop spending so much money. Whatever. That's exactly what I do. Yes, exactly. The Max Spear also from, um, what's the name of the company? Max Spear. Uh, yeah, those people. Anyway, better you and... Will you ever do a Photoshop tutorial on how you edit your photos? I'm so busy. I, and I, I, and no. just to be totally honest. No. To I be know. totally honest, every look is slightly different on what I he needs to do like, or doesn't need to do. Now, you models, if anybody's on here that's a model and zero makeup, and this is not the thing that we're going for, that touch up is so much different than any other touch up that he might need to do. So, um, yeah. But, yeah. hey, paid for practice though. DM, you never know. He might respond yeah, and exactly. say, hey, let's do a one-on-one -on -one FaceTime. You know what I mean? Um, what's that called thing where yeah, you can I do, see what's going on? Um, and do a little teach and show, then hey, that's different. Well, everybody knows I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one when it comes to um, teaching um, Photoshop and the way I edit and things like that. I do a lot of one-on-ones. I know Jermaine is in here. Jermaine has been over my house and sat down with me several times. Um, and we did one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I've, I've done people with, through Skype. I help people with Skype on what I do, um, how to achieve you know skin texture and how to keep texture and things like that. The biggest reason, and I'm going to tell you why. Here's the thing. The biggest reason why I don't really care to do Photoshop tutorials and Lightroom tutorials and all that. Here's the reason why. There is about a million videos on YouTube about, about how people edit their pictures. And the last thing I want to do is put my little tutorial out there on how I edit pictures. And I can see the comments. Of the, people are going to say the same thing all the time. Oh, you know, there's an easier way to do that. Oh, why didn't you just do it this way? Oh, yeah, you could have did this so much faster if you would have did it like this. Look, I ain't got time for that. All right. I edit my pictures how I edit my pictures. All right. So there's just too many tutorials out there on how to, on, on how to do Photoshop. And I'm not the best Photoshop editor either. I do enough to achieve really good pictures. I don't, there's a lot I don't know about Photoshop. You might think I know a lot, but I really, really don't. But I, I studied and I made, I, and I made it my own. So I have my own way of editing. But there's way, there's so many better people out there at Photoshop than me. So I, that's pro, that's the reason why. Now, when it comes to photography and off camera flash, oh, I'm coming out with them tutorials because I don't think there's nobody out there better than me. No, that, no, that, no, 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 no. I, I come out with that all day. So I'm just letting you know. We can we can talk about off camera flash all day. You can have all the tutorials you want about that though. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's that's what's up. <laughs> ain't get, ain't giving out game for free. Yep, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta pay, man. That's that's the thing about it. He was reading comments. But anyway, yeah. So, um, I think that's all we got, man. That's all the questions. Um, I want to welcome the lovely for coming out with me and um, giving her um, her two, two cents. cents. Yeah, on everything. Jinx. Knock on wood. Yeah, that's not the wood you need to knock on, though, baby. No. <laughs> Uh, too hot for TV. So too anyway, too hot for Wednesday night live. Yeah, that's what we do. Why are you acting Wednesday like that? Wednesday night live. This ain't. This is live, is it? Yeah. Dang, that's up. Right. <laughs> Can you? Um, thanks everybody for tuning in again. Yes. Please come back next Wednesday. You're so sexy. 
next. Be quiet. Next Wednesday, next, next we'll Wednesday. definitely let you we'll know what Wednesday. the topic is. Mm. I'm not going to be here. It will be Mr. Brandon. Yes. Probably going over the camera or something. <laughs> Focus. I'm focused. Focus I don't know what to talk about. Um, so please tune in again, 930 next we Wednesday. Gonna a, you, you gonna live a, dive hey, next on Wednesday <laughs> night. Next Wednesday, uh Tamika's gonna be on here by herself doing her own thing. Yeah, what about that? Yeah, Tamika, let's have Tamika come up with what's up Wednesday. I'm gonna change the picture. It's gonna be Tamika's picture up there with her head down. With it her won't hat be on. next week, and then I'll have yeah. it on my own channel. <laughs> yeah. Tamika's gonna be coming out with her own. YouTube I have a lot of things also. to speak on. Like what? Plenty of things. I have multiple You're gifts. So sexy. About how perverted <laughs> and perverted <laughs> that sounds. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Yo, also anyway, yo, I got like yeah, I got your last minute questions in. That's all we any got. Any other questions? Because I probably won't be on here in a few weeks. So any questions about a few anything? weeks? Where the hell are you going? Not on here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's you got cool. me shooting like every other day. That's right. Tipsy. Yo, wings. Yeah, wings. Stop. Yo, everybody's about to get them wings, though. Yo, wings is down. Hey, all right. Everybody going out to wings? Everybody going to get wings? All right. Everybody out to get wings, though. All right. Cool beans. Hey, we out, man. Hey, I want to say thank you guys. Uh, real talk, though. I want to say thank you guys for stopping in for What's Up Wednesday, rapping with us, having a good time. Um, tune in next Wednesday. Um, I don't know what we're talking about next week, but we're going to talk about something, um, photography related. So get your questions. Um, or I might just do a poll maybe on my Instagram to find out what you guys want to talk about, what's been on your mind. And then whatever the biggest or the most, um, asked question is or something like that. I might. So before, Holy shoot. so before you guys get off of this line, can you so leave can you leave a comment, please, of what we should be talking uh, about next week? Okay, Give us at least 100 of you guys giving us your honest opinion of what Mr. Brandon Cole can talk about next week when it comes to photography, modeling, Can we do a photo shoot tonight? Hell no. Nah. Can we do a photo shoot tonight? No. And I record it live. Can we do a live photo shoot? Yo, y'all want us to do a live photo shoot upstairs? Not. Can you stop it? <laughs> All right, guys. Please hey, leave I'm, your comments. I'm going live on YouTube. What you would like tonight. for us? Me and Tamika to gonna go share. live on YouTube tonight. And live on YouTube. Tonight. You might not see him Bang. next Wednesday. <laughs> I really I took out an insurance claim. Can we do a live photo shoot tonight? Just playing. Can we do a live photo shoot tonight. Um, people are laughing at you, bro. I know. I'm sorry. Boudoir style. Hey, don't know about that. I don't think she will let us do it. No, it's not. She's not going to do that. All right. All right, guys, for real. Hey, we out, man. Hey, thanks for coming out. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.